Morning. So last night I had a great conversation with Marco, and uh, we. Uh, I don't know that his chat even has an actual name. I don't think it's more just a conversation. War game chat, I think it's called. I uh, should have known that before I started the video. But last night we were talking about tactical World War Three uh, or post. Uh, sorry, more, I should say, more modern tactical combat. And we're looking, talking about uh, World of War, we're talking about uh, Battlefield Europe, the, uh, the G old GDW series, we're talking about a number of different uh, systems. So really ranging from, actually we talked about firepower a little bit too, so from single man counter to squad to platoon scale games. And that kind of got me to thinking that uh, there really isn't a great system available today that rewards the appropriate use of technology and, and tactics for the modern era. And you know, there's the new, so there's some new titles coming out, I and mean, maybe we can talk a little bit about that in a second. I don't know if that's even relevant or not, because I haven't seen them, I can't comment on what, whether they're good or anything like that. But uh, one of the things that strikes me with, so I don't have the Battlefield Europe game, but I do have, so I've got this fire, so firepower here, I think, I guess we, what, what I'm trying to say is, I think there's lots of games that have, that are World War Three ish style and deal with divisions and uh, battalions and cores and things and do seem to do that really well and take advantage of technology and all that sort of good stuff. But there are very few games that uh, modern era that deal with the the uh, the tactical scale combat. One of the few that I can think of is Phantom Fury, which is a solo game and becomes pretty much a rote exercise after four or five plays or something like that. I've played it three times and thought it was a really interesting game, but it, it was either am I going top down or bottom up this time, and it was really the, the only choice to make, unless you were uh, you're going to use one of the, the special chits they have, or the tank, and that was going to cause issues with your victory points and stuff like that. But a game like this, a game like Firepower, which has a really nice layered uh, rules approach, I think that uh, that game was pretty neat at the, 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 at the low level, but got a little bit tedious. There's lots of die rolling and messing around with bits and pieces to, you know, am I climbing the tree? How far up the tree am I? I'm going to lay down. I'm standing. I'm kneeling. There's way, way too much. Uh, uh, it takes you, you know, 20 minutes to play a two-minute turn, so it was kind of out of whack there. Uh, and now as I think of it, I've got a, I have one game that's coming out that might, might be the, might be the money shot. So let's talk, talk about that in a sec. Uh, the other game that I thought was interesting, but more ASL-esque than it was uh, World of War style at squad level was City Fight. City Fight was a fantastic game of its time. Uh, dealt with not only potential hypothetical NATO versus Soviets, but uh, had some Vietnam scenarios in it, uh, China invading Vietnam scenarios from the 70s, was it the 70s? Uh, they were 76 or 78 or something like that. I forget what, uh, what time that scale that was. And then some other neat scenarios in there. So that was a pretty cool system, but that required a double blind thing, and uh, that really didn't scale well in terms, it was one map and that was it, and it was a village. So it was very dense fields of fire and play and stuff like that, so you didn't get to run around with your little, uh, couldn't really run around with your little tank and blow things up, right, and do two kilometer shots or whatever the case may be. So you missed that opportunity for tactics. Uh, I played the 21st century game from the Polish guys, the strategy and tactic, tactics and strategy uh, magazine and that's a cool little system that gives you a lot of choices about uh, loadout for your uh, task forces or battle groups that you're going to take to fight but rules aren't really finished and they're not polished and they're, 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 there's, there's a lack of engagement with the map and the counters there. Um, so that we kind of cycle back to World of War, and World of War really is uh, not, you don't really use a lot of tactics in World of War. 
either you roll a five or a six and you hit, and the other guy doesn't roll a five or a six, and you strike and you get a result. Uh, so it does kind of come down to a bit of a dice off. There is a little bit of uh, tactical maneuvering and different style of play for both sides because one's a Soviet era, so one's Soviet style, uh, you know, bum rushing because you've got a lot of units, and the other is a shoot and scoot kind of philosophy of, uh, you know, NATO combat with the M1s and the Leopards and stuff like that. So there is a bit of that, which is kind of cool. And it's a fun game, and you play them, and they're fun. But they're not rich tactical experiences. We're not, uh, you know, setting up fields of fire as much, and we're not trying to leverage the technology and communications and things. And you end up, you know, bug hunting for uh, headquarters units and knocking out headquarters units as opposed to trying to win the battlefield type of thing. So, I think there's a huge, as we were talking about, there's a great opportunity, and not huge, because we're war gamers and there's 11 of us, uh, there's uh, a, an interesting opportunity to come out with a series of modules, and uh, by error maybe, that uh, deals, that brings the tactical richness to the battlefield. Uh, and to the game, from the, from the battlefield, I should say, to the game map. It's Sunday morning. I'm not uh, doing so good with actually communicating, and it's my first cup of coffee. So, But I thought, you know what, I might pop this up and ask you guys uh, what you thought were the best tactical scale World War Three slash modern era games that you've played. And I'd be really interested to hear, and I'd like to kind of collect up a list and I know there's a BGG list, I'm sure there's a BGG list for everything. I don't want to go on BGG and look at that. That's sterile. I want to hear from you guys and have you share what you like about uh, the various tactical systems that you play. So that leads me to the one game that I know that is coming out uh, that is modern in, at, and that's at platoon scale, which is the MBT Panzer the modern, uh, you know, the modern, the modern version of this guy, right? This dude. Uh, is my camera reversed? No. Okay. Uh, sometimes when you use the front, the front-facing camera, it uh, flips things around. Anyway, uh, I think that could be pretty cool, particularly if, uh, because I think at the at the modern, in the modern era, abstracting a little bit out of the the foot soldiers' role, and and. And, but having enough of the special weapons and things, if they do that right, that could be very, very cool because we don't need ASL for uh, modern combat. We don't need all that, you know, roll a six to, six to pick up the knapsack, roll a one to throw the knapsack, or roll a seven to push the plunger on the satchel charge and all that crap. I mean, that's all fantastic narrative and it's great if you really want to do that. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for a streamlined rich game, I think a uh, rich playing game that gives us lots of uh, lots of choices about tactics, not about mechanics of picking up things, dropping things, and using things. I want to, you know, do I, do I put the RPG 30 here, or 16, or whatever they are, 32 here, uh, where do I put my, uh, you know, my MG, MGs? Am I using a drone? What am I? What am I doing? What am I? Information am I getting from the drone? And what's my battle net look like? And where am I putting my MGs versus my Bradleys? Um, MGs, my um, uh, tanks versus my Bradleys, and all that sort of stuff, right? Uh, what would that look like playing against an, uh, two armed forces playing against each other, and then playing asymmetrically? Right? What what would that be like? Would that be like? Where is that groovy? Yeah, this uh, this days of villainy is uh, Syrians versus somebody. The Syrians uh, rebellion. What is this? Yeah, the Libyan civil civil war. Uh, uh, it's basically you know bunches of uh, raggies playing with each other, fighting with each other. That's got some interesting stuff in it. Lock and low is probably a great tactical. As you know, I like that game. Right. So I mean I'm. That's a great tactical modern system, but it's really moving along the spectrum from World War II, and it's this, exactly the same system. It's not uh, layering in modern technologies and modern capabilities and modern sensibilities in terms of how things are played and the rates of fire and things like that. So I think, I don't think, well, I think 
Heroes of the Gap is a great system, and I enjoy the games, and I love seeing the M1s and T-72s man up against each other. That's not what I'm looking for either. Uh, I, I think what I'm looking for is something at the platoon scale that's a richer, deeper tactical experience. Thoughts, comments. I know there's a lot of other older games that I haven't mentioned, uh, Fire Team and other things like that. Now, I know Steve Overton is working on a squad level game that is going to be a melange of ASL, Lock and Load, Combat Commander, Fire Team, uh, and one other game. It kind of, it's kind of got a whole bunch of stuff going on in there that he's pulled the, some of the best things out of game systems that. Uh, that will be uh, will be interesting. I've played it once, uh, and I like it, but I have not played enough of it to say that I love it. Um, so I think there's an opportunity there to bring out whether they're packs like this, you know, in a, in a Ziploc, you know, the Libyan edition, the Somalia edition, the. Uh, you know, whatever the latest hotspot is, the Falklands is an obvious one. But uh, I think there could be uh, you know, lots of the, the, some of the uh, other engagements that I can't recall at this very moment uh, that could be modeled and played that might be kind of fun. Anyway, did I really just spend 11 minutes talking about that? Okay. I hope that was interesting. Pop a note below. Tell us what you think. Tell me what the game you like, what scale it is, why it's awesome. Let's hear about it. And tell me if you think there's a marketplace for, uh, for another uh, platoon scale system in the modern era. Later.